I had a guy call me up. He was an old builder friend of mine. I worked on this job a while ago. I was lazy. I didn't clean out my pan. I worked on this house a while ago, and uh, and what happened was uh, one of the sprinkler heads broke. Here in, here in Glen Ellen, they started making mandatory for new homes to have sprinkler heads. If your house was old, you don't have to have them. But with the newer homes, they're built with sprinkler heads. Now. Uh, so one of the sprinkler heads broke in the uh, furnace room upstairs on the second floor and just flooded this house. So I came in here and did a whole bunch of work. Uh, but that's not why I'm here now. I'm here now because uh, because they're getting ready to sell the house. They're getting ready to, to sell this house. And, uh, and, and when they have uh, some other damage, there's some, there were some roof leaks and, and some other problems with it. Uh, so that's what we're here to fix right now. So if you want, I'll take you through and show you what we're going to be doing. And then, uh, then I'll come back and prep everything and get ready to go. So come on, let's go. Back when the when the flooding happened, uh, if you can see up here, we have some nail pops. And they took our, they took their time coming through. Had those been there when I first did it, I would have fixed those too. But those weren't there when I initially did all of the work. When I came in here and did all of this work, let's see where are we. Right here, this barrel ceiling. I don't know if you can see this barrel ceiling in here. Let's see if I can't get some lights on in here. Here we go. Uh, this is a barrel ceiling. They had ripped out half of this barrel ceiling, a lot of this wall, because the water was just pouring through here. I had a whole bunch of breaks and cuts in here, too. Big patches on these walls. All done. All done. This stairwell was all ripped open here. And this wall was Swiss cheese. This entire ceiling from, from that right there all the way through here was ripped out. Did we do the entire ceiling? Yes, yes, this entire ceiling. No, here we left this. This was, this was left. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, this was all new too. So this entire ceiling came down. We had to replace this entire ceiling. Um, the other side of this wall. This wall was Swiss cheese. I had a whole bunch of cuts in here. I had some cuts in here just to drain the water and get the water out of here. This wall here was Swiss cheese. Uh, I, think, I think they took off a big chunk of this. Just a big chunk of this was removed. I don't remember anymore. And then we had some Swiss cheese in this room too where they just cut a bunch of holes in to get the water out. We had the same problem in the basement. We had a few places in the basement. But that's not why I'm here. All of this turned out great. You can't tell it was ever even done in the first place. But we're heading upstairs now. So, but what we have here, if you can see this closely, see the water stains here. They had a roof leak. It was probably in the valley someplace. But they have some cracks here, and I'm here to repair that. And here too, I don't know exactly what happened, but right here, if I had my six, I could pop this loose. But right here, this, this is all blistered paper, and this is all coming out. It could have been a window flashing. No, you know what? The valley's right here again. This is the valley. Could have been some ice damming. Could have been something that happened here. And then in the other room, but, and that's why we have a problem in this room. Toilet overflowed upstairs. So the upstairs toilet overflowed, and we have this problem. I actually saw this because on the other side of this wall, on the other side of this wall is the furnace room, and I had to replace a big section of this wall down here. This had to be replaced. We didn't replace the whole thing, but this had to be replaced, and all of the floors were replaced. They had to replace all these floors because they were just all buckled. And I actually saw this when I was doing all of that, and asked them if you want me to repair it, and they're like, no, 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 because it wasn't done from me sprinkler head system. They only wanted me re to repair what the insurance company was, gonna, was going to pay for. Now, 
now they're again they're trying to sell the house so they want everything repaired now so we're back and if they would have let me repair this back then this wouldn't be here right now but you know let's take a quick break i'll get back to you i'm going to start getting things ready and then uh, we'll do some patching all right this has got a big big lump here and, and it's really important really important that you take out all the loose stuff. If you're not removing all the loose stuff, it's just gonna, it's just gonna blister back out on you. I have no idea what I'm getting into here, guys. Uh, so I'm here for the very first time. Uh, I came here and saw the patches the other day, but I didn't stop them, I didn't do anything with them. This paint is feeling really, really easy. And I have to take this up. This is, uh, this is actually straight flex. I'm not a fan of straight flex. I, I find that straight flex, I found that straight flex, uh, I, I've had problems with it up here. It's popped loose on me. And I have a little bit of flake in here too. Not bad up here. I can just scrape it down. But you notice, I'm gonna have to get some mud behind here. I don't see my paint peeling. Honestly, I don't see any tape peeling here whatsoever. It was just paint that was peeling off and the, and the straight flex pop loose. So I'm going to peel this up, take out all this stuff, remove all this stuff. I'm going to get some, some Durban up underneath the straight flex. I'm going to peel it, pull it this way and this way and make sure it's all up underneath this and then I'll throw a couple of skin coats on it. This, the tape is peeled. I, could, I saw that in the very beginning. So I saw that yesterday. I knew that tape was peeling. Not so much the paint on this one, but the tape. But that's nice. I like the way that came out. I'm gonna cut this out here a little bit. I like that way that removed. I got a little bit of caulk there. And you know what my motto is? Do your best, caulk the rest. So take that caulk out too. This is a really easy patch because I was able to remove the tape complete. You watch to see how easy that patch is. That's going to patch really easy. If you really, really like us, subscribe. Uh, what else? <laughs> subscribe, share, Amazon, Patreon. Hey, Patreon, if you donate enough money, we'll get you one of these, all right? Uh, Amazon, Patreon, subscribe, uh, share, you name it, let's, let's grow. Let's be a big community. You guys have a great day.